What up, everybody? It's Financial Soli, it's Fasted Friday, and today we're gonna to talk about a really interesting concept, which is that of intra-workout nutrition. In other words, sometimes I'm asked the question, all right, Soli, I know you're into this intermittent fasting thing, but I know that there's some provable benefits to the peri-workout window, the things you consume before, during, and after your training sessions. So I've been through a lot of iterations of this stuff, and I found that when I'm trying to do something around my workout, me, me personally, I'm going for four benefits. I'm looking for hydration. I'm looking for fatigue tolerance. In other words, prolonging my ability to train. I'm looking for brain recovery so I can function after lifting heavy weights. And I'm also looking for some sort of like cosmetic effect. Those are my top four. Typically, you see intra workout described around muscle recovery, number five, and it is very effective for that. But for me, I'm not going for that necessarily because I want to preserve my fasted state. So what I have right here are basically four iterations of the intra-workout concept. The yellow one is optimized for hydration and brain recovery. I will use that one on my next max effort day because I've got low work volume, but really, really, really high intensity. So I wanna have my brain capable of functioning after I'm done with that workout. And I also wanna be super hydrated so I don't tear anything. As you move down, the one on the right, or depending on how you're viewing this video, uh, this one is optimized for the cosmetic effect and muscle recovery. There's collagen peptides in there, there's sugar in there, that is more of your typical intra-workout uh, nutrition. These two in the middle are kind of a hybrid. I'll probably use those on my speed days. I'll use the, uh, the dark purple red one on my repeated effort day, which is basically bodybuilding. So if you can kind of see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to optimize my supplementation based on the activity that I'm going to do. So hopefully that offers a guide one other thing I want to point out is caffeine, super supplement. You don't need to get fancy with it. Cheap caffeine, 200 milligrams right before training, in addition to uh, you know, some intra-workout optimized nutrition. That's really how you're going to take your workouts to the next level. So hopefully that was helpful to someone. Please ask your questions in the comments so I can have topics to talk about. Let me know what you want to want to hear. Let's get it.